when you're in the downtown or 100 block area of Council Bluffs, you notice those little gray things lined up along the streets called parking meters. At recent city council meetings, the council has been in discussion on whether or not to remove them. We visit with a couple of business owners to ask them about the potential impact and should they stay or should they go? Lately in Council Bluffs, there's been a question being asked. That question, should the parking meter stay or go? Should I stay or should I go? Council member Melissa Head and Council member Al Ringenberg um, jointly drafted an ordinance that would pertain to businesses in a C4 zoning district, allow businesses that, that have on-street parking or parking lots owned by the city to appeal to the council to have those meters either removed or replaced. Gone permanently. I'll be here till the end of time. The 100 block is one of the key areas being looked at for the proposal. Barley's owner Matt Johnson tells us that a group of people have been tossing around the idea with the hope of helping fill in vacant businesses. There's a number of downtowns around that have taken out their parking meters and from what I hear from them it's been very successful for businesses. You know we've still got four or five empty storefronts on this side of the block and I tend to wonder if parking is an issue. While Johnson is in favor of the removal of meters, he admits there's much to consider. I think we should look at it. Uh, I don't necessarily think we should start pulling out meters all over the town, but they've been around for 50 or 60 years. I think there's probably some more efficient ways we can handle parking downtown. Because a lot of meter parking in the city is shared by nearby residents and businesses, there is reason for pause. If you remove the parking meters, that then allows anyone to park there the employees of the business, the employees of the neighboring business, the residents living above the business would take up all the parking. The businesses wouldn't have anywhere for their customers to park. Some business owners like Diane Bauer, owner of Main Street Cafe, share Mayor Walsh's sentiment. You're gonna have people parking there all day long and where are the customers supposed to park? You gotta have turnover, that's what helps your business. Bauer says the meters help store owners get their customers in and out of their business in a timely manner. You should be able to get in here and have your dinner and so forth in a allotted amount of time and back out of here for a turnover for another. It's the wrong thing to do to take them meters out. After hearing input on the issue at a city council meeting January 26th, city council members are continuing to gather information before making a final decision. There are three required readings. We had the second one last Monday. Um, and they extended that because Melissa Head was out of town due to the weather. We wanted to give her an opportunity to represent herself and so we agreed to continue the second reading until February 8th. In theory, we'd have two more readings unless it gets voted down at the next meeting. So until at least the next council meeting on February 8th, the question remains. So you got to let me know Should I stay or should I go?